Hello and welcome back to another video on the Fraser Oliver channel. Now today is sort of a part two to my last video in which I went through and watched and reacted to every Marvel announcement from Disney's Investor Day 2020 and today I'm going to be going through all of their Pixar announcements from Disney Investor Day. So let's get into it. Right, so let's get straight into it. Hey everybody, I'm Pete Doctor. Pixar started in 1986 with the dream to take the wonderful tradition of animation and transform it using state-of-the-art computer technology. Tradition and innovation, two opposing concepts, have been at the heart of Pixar since the very beginning. Since then, we've gone on to make 23 feature films and many, many shorts. And as a director of several of these films, it makes me so happy to hear that folks who grew up on these films as kids are now passing them along to kids of their own. It's hard to believe Pixar's been around 34 years, but you know what? Truth is, we're just getting started. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a bunch of fresh new filmmakers. Getting their voices on the screen is our key focus right now, while at the same time allowing our veteran filmmakers to continue to mature and do their great work. And I think that's really what we do best at Pixar. We honor tradition while at the same time innovating for the future. Here's something that sure took a lot of innovation. It's our 23rd feature film called Soul. And it's one of the most challenging and rewarding projects I've ever directed, that's for sure. Soul is set in two distinct places, one that's familiar and one you've never seen before. The film looks into what makes us who we are and what we do with our limited time here on Earth. Appreciating the simple joys of life, finding the spark that makes you, you. The themes of soul feel so timely to us right now that we're happy that this movie will be shared this year with audiences around the world. We're excited to bring a little joy to everybody this holiday season. So let's take a look at what you'll see this Christmas oh. on Disney+. Plus. Just a bit of a pre-warning, I haven't seen this trailer. Um, I've heard it, but I thought I'm not going to watch the trailer until it comes out. But as I'm watching this, you know, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. One, two, three, four, stay on the beat. Two, three, four. That's in sharp horns. Two, three, I see you, Caleb. Cut it, go for it. Hang on, hang on. What are y'all laughing at? So Connie got a little lost in it. That's a good thing. Look, I remember one time my dad took me to this jazz club, and that's the last place I wanted to be. But then I see this guy, and he's playing his chords with force on it. And then with a minor, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder if those actually are the correct keys. Because with Pixar, I wouldn't at all be surprised if what we see him play there are actually the correct keys on the piano. Ooh. Look around. Life has so much to offer. We only have a short time on this planet. Don't miss out on the joys of life. Remember to enjoy every minute of it. <gasps> Joey! <laughs> what has gotten into you, Let boy? Let him finish. Cougar. Oh, I actually start streaming on Christmas Day. Uh, I am going to have to watch that on Christmas Day. Speaking of Disney Plus, we have a bunch of new projects we are making exclusively for the streaming service. Now, hopefully you've been able to check out some of our Spark Shorts. These are a collection of shorts made by a diverse group of new storytellers at Pixar. They've really struck a chord with many around the world. Our next Spark Short, Burrow, follows a young rabbit as she tries to build the home of her dreams. 
It's by first-time director Maddie Sharafian. And I'm excited to say it's going to be released on Disney Plus along with Soul this Christmas. We've also launched a new documentary series called Inside Pixar, which invites you into our studio Stop for an up-close, never-before-seen look at the artistry, the craftsmanship, and the storytellers of Pixar. The first five episodes are available right now on Disney+, Plus, so check them out. And more are scheduled to be released in the coming months. Next, grab a quick snack with Pixar popcorn. This collection of mini shorts feature your favorite Pixar characters. Oh, no, it's okay. So what have we got? To fitness and beyond. Is that like a Buzz Lightyear fitness instructor video? Because that could be interesting. Uh, chore day. Uh, that sounds good. That's gonna be, I, I reckon that'll be something like um, Jack Jack Attack. Uh, dancing with the cars. Great. Dancing with the cars. Yeah, because we need more cars content. Uh, a day in the life of the dead. That sounds good. Uh, Cooking num num. Dory Finding. Got a feeling that's going to be like a um, documentary series almost. Fluffy stuff with Ducky and Bunny and Soul of the City. In all new bite sized stories created by Pixar animators. <laughs> These were a blast to make. Pixar Popcorn comes to Disney Plus this coming January. <sighs> we also have three all new series that you'll soon be seeing on okay. Disney Plus. The first is Near oh, to nice. My Heart as it's a spin-off from Up called Doug Days. It's written and directed by the hilarious Bob Peterson, the creator of Forky Asks a Question, and... Is Doug not D-O-U-G? Not D-U-G? Or am I being stupid? I thought Doug the was voice spelled D-O-U-G. This brand new series follows our favorite talking dog, now with Carl, as he returns from the dangers of the South American jungles to the dangers of suburbia. Here he will face many challenges, including puppies, fireworks and of course squirrel Doug Days will premiere oh, on Disney cool. Plus in the fall of 2021 here's a clip from one of our favorite episodes Doug could you watch him for a spell I'll be right inside if you need me oh yes oh yes I will take care of the puppy uh, you might want to quiet it down I want the puppy to wake up so that I may take care of the puppy you got your wish puppy okay here they come Puppy! Oh, 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 puppy! <laughs> Have fun, Doug! <laughs> I am faster than you! <laughs> I am faster than a puppy! <laughs> Hello, puppies! It is me, Doug! Oh, puppy! <laughs> How did you get there? You caught me! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Sharp teeth, you puppy. Tiny puppy teeth. Puppy teeth. Ow. Oh, oh, so sharp. Now I'm feeling chewed. Auto cachorro. Hurry, tell us. Yo. Basta cuchole. Ow. Puppy teeth. Tiny puppy teeth on me. Now I am turning. Ow. Oh, turning and hurting. It is kind of fun. Ow. Oh, fun and hurting. Ow. Oh. Next, we're excited to reignite the Cars franchise. Why do they keep doing this? The first Cars was a good film. Great concept, great execution, amazing. Cars 2, crap. Cars 3, less crap than Cars 2, but still crap. We don't want more Cars. We don't want anything to do with that fact. We don't want planes, we don't want automobiles, we don't want trains, we don't want cars. We don't want it, or at least I don't. I think the vast majority of Pixar fans don't want any more Cars. The first Cars was great, and the rest of it, just leave it now. ...with an all-new series that follows Lightning McQueen and his best friend Mater as they head on a road trip across the country. These episodes will be filled with lots of fun new characters, imaginative destinations, as well as old friends checking in along the way. Our all-new Cars series is coming to Disney Plus in the fall of 2022. Following that, we're very excited to announce Pixar's first ever original long-form animated series this is a big deal for us oh it's being written and directed by two young story artists carrie hobson and michael yates while working together on toy story 4 these two often noticed that they'd have very different impressions of the very same meeting one would think it went great 
The other thought it was a disaster. And they thought, hey, that would be a cool thing to explore. And it developed into an original series we're calling Win or Lose. This series follows a co-ed middle school softball team in the week leading up to their championship game. Each 20-minute episode follows the same week, but from the perspective of a different character. But it's not really so much about softball as it is a comedy about love, rivalry, oh, and the incredible. challenges we all face in our struggle to win at life. Win or Lose is coming exclusively to Disney Plus in the fall of 2023. Oh, no! This always happens. The one I'm most excited for, I've got to wait four, four, that's not how maths works, three years for it. So, those are all projects we're working on for Disney Plus, all being made by our filmmakers in Emeryville with the same passion and excitement and quality as our feature films. And speaking of our feature films, we have an exciting lineup to share with you that really captures that perfect blend of tradition and innovation that I talked Ooh, about okay. earlier. At the center of each of our big tentpole films, is a deeply personal story, and our next feature is no exception. Luca is the first feature for director Enrico Casarosa, who made the short film La Luna. What's this set like? And it's a Greece? love letter to Enrico's home country of Italy, and a celebration of the universal Italian. themes of friendship. Set in a beautiful seaside town on the Italian Riviera, this original film is a heartfelt story about a young boy named Luca and his best friend Alberto, who experience an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter rides. Luca dives into theaters around the world in June 2021. Here's a sneak peek at our all-new trailer. Ah! Oh. After Luca, I'm excited to announce two, two new films today, both releasing in 2022. In the spring of 22, we have an original film directed by another first-time feature director, Domi Shi. Who Where was La Luca? There's no trailer for La Luca. I have to have a look. Won an Academy Award for her Pixar short film, Bow. Get ready okay, for Turning right. Red. This is May confident 13 year old who's experiencing the excruciatingly awkwardness of being a teenager everything in her life is changing her interests her relationships her body balancing all this with family and crushes and her devotion to the biggest boy band on the planet is no small feat oh and one more little detail whenever she gets too excited which for a 13 year old is like right. always she I uncontrollably guess. poofs into a giant uh. red panda <laughs> You could have said to me, you could have given me 50 guesses as to what she would do when she gets excited. Turning into a giant red panda would not have been on that Kinda list. Like the Incredible Hulk, but cuter. Wow. Turning Red is an original take on the great tradition of coming of age comedies, albeit one with an emotional and a furry twist. And coming in the summer of 2022 is a science fiction adventure film unlike anything we've done oh. before. Oh, exciting. Time travel. What's it called? Light. At first glance, you might think, this is, is a Toy time? Story film. Well, not so fast. See, back when we created the very first Toy Story, we designed Buzz Lightyear with the idea that he was a toy based on some really cool character from an epic blockbuster film. Is this that film? Are they making a film? About Buzz Lightyear, as in the pers the like person the toys based off. Oh, what a! Well, all these years later, we decided it's time to make that film. Oh, directed what a by Pixar vet Angus McLean, co-director of Finding Dory, Lightyear is the definitive origin story what of the original Buzz Lightyear. 
and it reveals oh. how this young test pilot became the space ranger we all know him to be today. And we're excited to announce this new Buzz Lightyear will be voiced by none other than Chris Evans. You don't get much more traditional Pixar than Buzz, and we're excited to have Chris's help in bringing a new twist to this iconic character. Um, so, the idea of making the film that Buzz is based off is a great idea, I love that. Seeing the actual Space Ranger of Buzz Lightyear in action, as opposed to as a toy, I think is a brilliant idea. Chris Evans voicing him. I mean, I get that they don't want um, Tim Allen doing it, which is the original voice of Buzz, if you didn't know. Uh, because it's not the toy and people would get confused with Buzz as a toy and Buzz as the Space Ranger. Yeah, Chris Evans is a good enough choice. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I bet I've got to wait 40 can't years wait to take her. audiences to infinity and beyond as Lightyear launches into theaters in the summer of 2022. That's so there you have it. Pixar continues to transform. So that was me reacting to all the Pixar announcements from Disney's Investor Day 2020. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and dislike it if you didn't. Comment your thoughts on all of these new series and films. And are you excited for them? Do you think Chris Evans is a good choice to voice Buzz Lightyear in an upcoming film? Subscribe if you know you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.